you. So I'm going to talk about um, awareness. Uh, actually, this is a theme. I've got a theme for the next four days because I'm here for the next four days. Uh, Kate won't be here tomorrow. Uh, she's because of COVID. She's uh, she's actually got to uh, work uh, tomorrow um, to replace somebody who was ill. Good morning, Julia. So uh, I'm going to be here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Joe will be here on Friday. And I wanted to talk this morning about, uh, in fact, I'll be using this for the next four days, this theme of big mind and small mind. Uh, this is a concept that was, um, that was really helpful to me. Um, so we can imagine uh, that we maybe have uh, two minds. We've got a big mind and a little mind. And the little mind is constantly chattering and worrying and planning and uh, looking back and looking forward and commentating and he's never never still this little mind of ours so that's the chattering mind really and then we could imagine that we have a big mind <laughs> you're okay lizzie uh, i feel we've got the big mind uh, the big mind that is uh, is still and quiet and can think if it wants to. It's perfectly capable of having uh, a thought and working something out or reflecting on something, um, uh, but doesn't chatter all the time, just watches, is aware. It's an aware mind. The big mind is, a, is an aware, an awareness, an aware mind that just takes in everything that is happening in the moment. In fact, it's a bit more than that. It is everything that's happening in the moment. It is our present experience, constantly coming and going. Uh, so, um, so that's the big mind and the small mind. And what we're trying to do in meditation is we're trying to notice the small mind we're not trying to get rid of it we're just trying to notice that it actually isn't us it's not who we are we are the big mind we are this awareness this ever-present experience of what is happening and part of what is happening is the chattering of the small mind <clears throat> So uh, that's that's a concept I'm going to pursue all week. And it is a concept. Uh, there is a health warning with it. We mustn't take it literally. But it is a helpful uh, kind of illustration of what goes on. It sort of explains things quite well. We've got the little mind that chatters along all the time, worrying and planning and commentating. And we've got the big mind that... Is, uh, is standing back, uh, is full of uh, awareness, is, uh, is, is our actual experience of the present moment. And the big mind gets um, overwhelmed or hidden by the little mind, by the, all the chattering that goes on. But we're, what we're trying to do is to become the big mind. Uh, that is who we really are. The little mind isn't who we are. If it was, we could stop it. We could turn it off and we can't, can we? So we're going to try and reside more and more during this week in the big mind. Uh, try and stand back from the little mind and just watch the kind of stuff that it gets caught up in and just try and let that go as much as we can. So the big mind is aware of everything it's aware of uh, all experience uh, and it can home in on a particular experience or it can just take in the whole of the experience so as we do the body awareness meditation this morning we're trying to use our big mind we're trying to use our awareness our sense of what is happening right now um, and to just notice uh, the sensations and feelings in the body 
and to let the little mind just relax as much as it can to let it uh, just be easy and not get too caught up in, in things. And by constantly exercising our big mind, by constantly uh, practicing awareness or mindfulness, if you like to call it that, uh, then we allow the little mind to settle. So uh, I'll stop there, but I hope that's useful. I, I found it really helpful when I first heard it many years ago. Um, and uh, I'll say more about this uh, in the next few days as well. Um, okay, good morning, Lizzie. You're not like, uh, you're not the naughty school girl. <laughs> uh you're very welcome okay so uh we'll begin and if you like to make sure you're comfortable and settled as much as you can be and just noticing how you are whether you are settled or whether you're a bit restless uh, whether you're sort of uh, thinking about things that are going to happen during the day whether you're uh, commentating in the mind in the little mind whether the little mind is uh, anxious or upset or happy or a bit impatient whatever's happening in the small mind just noticing that just being with it, not trying to change it, just having a sense of uh, compassion towards it, of kindness, just seeing the small mind from the point of view of the big mind, from the point of view of awareness or mindfulness. Our poor Poor small minds, they, they get so caught up with everything that's going on. <laughs> so just having a sense of kindness towards any thoughts that are arising. And just noticing any particular mood that we might be in. Uh, we might be feeling... Uh, a bit sleepy or you might be confused by what I've been talking about that's okay you might be dreading something towards the in the day or looking forward to something it might be a happy mood or a slightly sad mood or a worried mood whatever it is it's okay, just having a sense of kindness and compassion towards our mood, just the way we are at the moment, and it's okay, it doesn't have to be any different. And bringing our kindly awareness our big mind, just bringing it into contact with our body, just noticing what it feels like to be us this morning, whatever's going on, whatever aches and pains there are, whatever sluggishness there might be in the body whatever feelings are present in the body just being with them with a kindly air kindly sense of awareness of them not trying to push them away or grab hold of them or make them continue just see them for what they are Constantly changing feelings and sensations in the body.
I'm just noticing the contact with the whatever you're sitting or lying on. Just allowing the body to be held by gravity. <clears throat> So we're going to begin this journey through the body, beginning with uh, the shoulders. Just noticing what the shoulders feel like. Noticing that they rise and fall as we breathe. As they fall, we can allow ourselves to relax a little bit more. As they rise, notice that we're breathing in and our energy levels are rising each time. So on each in-breath, we're breathing in energy and lightness. On each out breath, we're relaxing. So we're going to begin our journey by going up the back of the neck and just noticing how that feels. Is there any tightness or achiness there? And if there is, just having a kindly uh, attitude towards it, a kindly awareness of it, not trying to push it away, just having a kindly sympathetic gaze of on it, looking after any discomfort in the neck or any part of the body. Just moving up to the top of the head and noticing what you can feel there. Maybe very little. <laughs> or you might be able to feel a tightness on the skin on the top of the head. Just feeling what you can feel. It doesn't matter if you can't feel anything anywhere. Just staying open to whatever sensations you can recognize. Moving round to the forehead, how does that feel? I would imagine you're probably frowning, because I am. I think we do this all the time. We hold our foreheads uh, fairly tightly. So just relaxing the forehead. Oh gosh, doesn't that make a difference? Just relaxing. Relaxing the forehead and relaxing it again. Because habitually, particularly if we have our eyes closed, we tend to tighten up the forehead. Just letting it go. If it helps, not closing the eyes fully. Just allowing your forehead to be soft. And then the same with the rest of the face, just allowing the facial muscles to sag. We don't need to hold any part of our face in any particular way, just allowing it to relax. Jaw to drop open slightly, 
the eyes to be soft behind the eyelids the tongue to rest in the mouth letting the whole of the face relax then moving on down the throat what can you feel there if you swallow that will help to really locate the throat and coming back to the shoulders <clears throat> just noticing again any achiness and allowing it to soften just having a kindly sense towards it and now moving down the arms down the upper arms what can you notice about the upper arms anything much just the sense of them maybe maybe a slight tingling and the lower arms and just homing in on the inside of the one of the wrists on the inner arm just really coming close in your mind in your awareness to the inside of one of your wrists and just seeing if you can notice your pulse beating away pumping the blood and the oxygen around your body if you can't feel it that's fine just staying open to it and moving into the hands What do they feel like? You feel all the energy in the hands. And tingling, warmth, maybe a slight dampness in the palm of the hands. Particularly the fingers, noticing the energy in the fingers coming and going, constantly on the move. Of course, there might be a coldness about the hands as well, depending on how you are. Just feeling whatever you can feel in the hands. I'm moving back up to the shoulders now. And we're going to go down the back of the body. Beginning with the upper back and the sides of the body. You might notice that they're moving in and out, the upper body, the upper back is moving in and out, expanding and contracting as we breathe. Just noticing that movement.
just allowing yourself to be that movement. Moving down the back, just the sense of all the muscles in the back holding, holding us erect. Just maybe a sense of something there. And down to the lower back. What can you feel here? Maybe an echo of the breath again, a slight movement. And just coming round to the hips. Not very easy to feel the hips, large bony structure. You might just get a, some, a light sense of them inside the body. and the bottom, the buttocks, and the sitting bones underneath. In contact with uh, the chair or the cushion or the bed. If you're lying down, you'll also have the contact all the way along your back and the back of your legs. Just noticing this contact. Can you find any point where the feelings in your body end and the whatever you're lying or sitting on begins? I bet you can't. <laughs> So moving down the back of the legs now, beginning with uh, the hamstrings at the top, big, big muscles, probably quite relaxed. They're not working at the moment. Just noticing what you can about them. And moving down to the calf muscles, a solid ball of muscles. Can you feel into that solidity in the calf muscles? If you can't feel anything, that's fine. Just noticing what you can. And if the small mind keeps interrupting with thoughts um, and observations, then just let it, let it go. Just notice it with kindness and come back to the sensations in the body as much as you can. Exploring the ankle now. Just noticing anything that you can find in the ankle.
and the heels of the foot. and the sole of the foot and just linger here a little while the sole of the foot just noticing what we can notice maybe notice tingling a lot of tingling lot of energy in the sole of the foot coldness or warmth sensations of clothing touching the skin or the floor if you're on a chair very very energetic part of the body full of nerve endings full of activity so moving to the toes now giving them a wiggle what can you feel there what do they feel like And the top of the foot you feel maybe feeling clothing on the top of the foot socks maybe maybe tingling and if there is a tingling does this is it different to the tingling on the sole of the foot moving up to the shin big bony bit can you feel anything here maybe feel the skin stretched over it clothing rubbing against it or the coldness or warmth of the air brushing it the knees what can you feel in the knees maybe very little but just opening up to whatever you can notice in the knees and the top of the leg at the front the quadriceps if you're sitting these will be stretched slightly or if you're sitting cross-legged or kneeling if you're lying down they'll probably be relaxed what can you feel here <clears throat> and moving up to the main trunk of the body beginning with uh, the belly what can you feel in the belly belly can be full of uh, physical sensations and feelings as well feelings that are pleasant or unpleasant 
or neutral. How does the belly feel? And the abdomen. What feelings and sensations are occurring here? You might not be able to describe them. Of course, that's the case with a lot of things in the body. So not really trying. We don't have to think about what we're feeling or uh, sensing. Just noticing the quality of it. I'm moving up to the chest area. <clears throat> What's going on in the chest? Is it relaxed? Is it tight? Does it feel pleasant or unpleasant? Can you notice the expansion and contraction, the movement of the breath? Just allowing it to be in a nice, easy way. I'm taking in the whole of our experience of the body now. Just settling back into a larger awareness, into the big mind. Just allowing us to see the whole picture of the body, the whole sense of the body. Breathing, feeling, experiencing. Just letting our experience be as it is. Well, that's it for this morning. I hope that was uh, helpful and has set you up for the day. And uh, uh, hello to Julia, who I didn't say hello to. Sorry, Julia. Um, and it's good to have you all with us. We've been a very select group this morning. That's okay. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow with the loving kindness meditation, which is a treat for me because I don't often get to, to do choose this. So that was good. Ah, oh, hi, Karen. Um, good to see you as well. Uh, and um, yeah, what else have I got to say? Um, nothing much really. Upset. Have a really good day. Look after yourselves and take care. And lots of love to you. Goodbye for now.